In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, living in Mary, help me listen to Jesus' thirst. So today we are having the, our second day of meditations uh, surrounding Mother Teresa of Calcutta's teaching. And today's title in Father Michael Gately's book is The Gift God Gave, September 10th. So we're talking yesterday about how Mother Teresa of Calcutta was someone who very, very clearly showed her love for Jesus. Everyone knew that she was happy to follow Jesus. You could see the light in her. She has this experience of when you saw her, and you can see that in pictures and videos, you could see how much she loved in a very, very radical way. So she had this calling Inside her call, she was part of a religious community and God called her to found and start a new congregation for, for the neediest of the needy. And it was a, a big challenge for her understanding that God wanted her to change the plans. That that's how God works a lot. He changes her plans. So today's meditation, Father Michael Gately's, uh, basically gives us a lot of Mother Teresa of Calcutta's writings. So I'm going to just read a bit about it. And today we, we get to touch a lot of the heart of Mother Teresa. She had a very, very strong experience of understanding the thirst of God for us. When she said, I thirst. And that's, how, that's what led her life. That's something that inspired the way she led her sisters and the way she led the evangelization, the apostle that she did among the needy. But she didn't explain it for many years until she heard a teaching by John Paul II, the Pope, and she understood that she had to share her experience. So uh, she, tell, she told her sisters in a letter that we get to read now how Jesus wants me to tell you again how much love he has for each one of you. So we need to understand how much God loves us. He thirsts for us from the cross where he's dying, where he's giving his life. He's really loving us. Have you seen with the eyes of your soul how he looks at you with love? So he really loves you. He thirsts for you. He misses you when you don't come to him, when you don't come close to him. So this is an invitation to understand the love God has for us, that our Jesus has for us in the cross where he thirsts for you, and to learn to bring him our sufferings. And she says, bring all your, all your suffering to his feet. Only open your heart to be loved by him as you are. He will do the rest. This is very, very important because many times when we suffer, we don't know what to do with that suffering, with that pain. And sometimes we even reject God because it's like, why did God allow this suffering, this pain? We don't like it, so we just don't know how, what to do with it. But Jesus wants us to take our sufferings, our pain to the cross with him, and he will take care of it. So this, is, this teaching is very much the basic of Mother Teresa's spirituality. So she teaches us to go to Jesus. But when she went to Jesus, she understood who is a person who knows how to love Jesus and receive the love of Jesus above all, his, her, his mother, Mother Mary. So she says, I'm still reading her words. Our lady was the first person to hear Jesus cry, I thirst, with St. John and I'm sure Mary Magdalene. Because Our Lady was there on Calvary, she knows how real, how deep is his longing for you and for the poor. Do we know? Do you understand how much God loves you? How much God thirsts for you? Ask her to teach you. Her role is to bring you face to face as John and Magdalene with the love in the heart of Jesus crucified. 
the role of Mary is to bring you to the love of Jesus. So if you have any trouble, we all do, we are very human, it's difficult to like get into our pain and understand what to do with it. If you have trouble understanding what to do with your pain, if you have trouble understanding how much God loves you, ask her to help you understand. Ask her to help you understand how much he thirsts for you.